be explaining my part of the project uh, for our for my senior project. Uh, my part was my task was given to uh, for the localization of the robot. Uh, what we're, what the whole idea is we're, we have four. Uh, it's going to be based on a Zigbee wireless technology, which has four nodes in my schematic. We have two fixed nodes, a remote node on the robot, and a coordinator robot, which where every all the information is sent. So. As you can see here, we have the remote one, the remote node here. We have two fixed nodes. We have one in this corner, and we have one in that corner, so it can scan the whole area of the, the plane. And we have the command, the, the, the coordinator node, which is sent to, which is right here. So everything is sent to the PC, to the command node, and it's consequently sent to the PC. So the whole idea is we're going to be reading uh, two RSSI values from the two fixed nodes. We have one RSSI value from the, fix, the first fixed node to the robot, and we have another one from the second fixed node to the robot. So consequently, we get two readings, two RSI values, which are translated into uh, into uh, a distance in meters using an equation uh, I have found by uh, taking by taking observations. So uh, we'll we'll have an example now. We'll be moving the robot, and you can see consequently you can see the x y position in my program in MATLAB. It's currently running now. So uh, we'll start moving the robot. As the robot is moving, we can, if we can come over, you can see some real-time XY positions given here on MATLAB. And this is later all stored in one array. It's, co it's, ev it's currently updating. Every one or two seconds, it's changing the value. So we can move also the robot backwards if we want to. And wherever it goes on the map, it, it doesn't matter how it moves or whatever, it's always updating the value for the coordinates XY. And it's all stored in the MATLAB. So that's all for the localization part. Thank you very much for listening.